Hello my beautiful friend, it's King Gabriel here again and I'm here for the brothers and sisters that can actually hear what I'm saying and make a difference with it in their lives. There are some that would like what I say, some that would not like what I say. I'm here for neither of those. I'm here for the ones that are willing to apply it to their lives and make change, make a difference. Right? Whether it's judged as good or bad or right or wrong and all of that stuff, I'm unconcerned with that at this point. Those who apply it will know the truth of it and see the truth of it in their lives. And so it is. So, here I am and today's topic is about life's incongruencies. And when I say incongruencies, what I mean is the things in life that seem to go against the goals that we set. As soon as we set a goal, it seems like things might pop up to almost stop us from achieving that goal. And it's funny that we look at it that way. Because in any other degree of life, any other aspect of life, for instance, if you wanted to be, let's say, some sort of athlete in a specific sport, the moment you set a goal, there are things that you have to get done in order to accomplish that goal. If you want to be a sprinter, for example, and I'm pulling from my own life here, you would have to learn to start well so that you can move fast out of the blocks. You would have to learn proper running form so that when you're running, your stride doesn't fall apart and you don't go rolling off to the side of the track or all over the place and be more efficient, right? And all these little things that you learn, you'll have to learn to finish as hard as you can and drive through instead of easing up because that costs time as well. So... If that's one aspect of life, why aren't all other aspects of life looked at in the same way or close to the same way? The moment you set out and you have a goal in mind, then challenges come forth, not because you're a bad person or you've done wrong. Challenges come forth because those are the challenges that you get to surmount that make you more equipped to handle the task that you have set out to achieve, right? So then the moment that you say you want something, all of a sudden, all the things that you don't want seem to come around you, right? But those are challenges so that you can get your mind straight, which is the tool that you're using at that point to allow you to advance. And that's really all it is. But we tend to take these things in from the human perspective as negative and see them as counterproductive. But there's a saying that goes, the stone that the builders refuse will become the head corner stone. Right, And that is written in script here as well. The reason they said that is that the thing that you do not want is what the thing that you reject, the thing that you push aside is the thing that actually motivates you to take action in the opposite direction. So for some people, as sad as this is, it takes extremes for them to finally be like, I'm done with this and make a change. And that's all those things are there for. And those are life's incongruencies. They seem to be negative. But when you look at the whole picture, that same cornerstone that you built it on, that foundation, is there for the purpose of allowing you to build what you built. So then was it really negative in the grand scheme of things? Or was it just something that was there to propel you to take action in a specific direction or to change your mind about something? Right? And these are questions we tend to look at when we look at a broader perspective. And of course, there is a broader perspective than that as well. But this is a simple one that I believe everybody would be able to relate to easily. right? And so life has challenges, yes. But those challenges can either be viewed as harmful and against us and negative, And then we get to judging people and all of that stuff. Or they can be viewed as, oh, <laughs> I can learn from this. I don't have to react to this. I don't have to act like that. I can be better than that for myself. I can be better than my last self and improve and improve and improve and build in consciousness, evolve and become a better, as we would call it, human being. But I would, I would more be inclined to say a better being, right? A better entity, a better whatever you want to call it, right? Because we're really not limited to these bodies like we think. There's much more to it than that. And I'll talk about that in another video, but we should pay attention to that and expand our awareness to the point where we can integrate more of these challenges right into us to become even better right and that's all it's about we improve with every little 
thing that comes to us, right? It's not like we're here to, some people say we're here to learn a bunch of lessons. Mm. Yes and no, right? Everything here is really a paradox. The lessons that we learn here are lessons that we choose to learn. We elect our lessons by selecting goals. If you select a goal, there will be lessons associated with achieving that goal. That's all it is. But you're not here fundamentally to just learn lessons. You're a full creator, right? There's a lot of energy that's flowing through you and allowing you to create the things that you would like to do. And when I say full creator, I don't mean to strike any religious person to exclude any deity that you may have, right? None of that is relevant at all. I'm just talking about the ability that has been given, that is there, that is present as the being that you are, and you've witnessed it in many ways in the ways you've created your life up to this point, and the way that you are about to create your life from this point forward. So, go ahead and enjoy that, work with that thought, see what it brings up for you, and realize that you can reframe a lot of the things in life that seem to be negative as not negative, but just present. They're just there for you to look at, to use as stepping stones for building the structure that you're building for creating. Right? So think of it that way if you choose to. And I guarantee you it will help you in not reacting in a way that you don't like to things that show up that seem to be against you. There is nothing that is against you, just for the record. And we'll talk about that deeper as well in the future, right? So, that's today. Eternal love and infinite peace. Also, if you're interested in finding out more about what I'm doing, I'll put a, post the link below and you can follow that. You can check out some of the webinars and stuff that I've done and see if they apply to you, right? Just follow the link and check it out. And I'll be in contact. Eternal love and infinite peace.